the fall sports season rolls on, there are really two kinds of teams right now in high school football. Teams who are making a push for the postseason and teams who are just hoping to string together a win or two. Coming into this week, the Boston Latin Wolfpack fit into the latter category. 2016 has not been kind to the Latin football team and first-year head coach Ray Butler as the Wolfpack have started the season 0-4. On Friday, Latin looked to turn their fortunes around when they faced perennial playoff contender Concord Carlisle, who also has struggled out of the gate beginning the season at 1-3. and three. Let's head out to White Stadium for this one. There you see the Wolfpack looking for their first win of the year, but they had a tough time in the early going. First quarter, opening possession, Boston Latin punts the football. Concord Carlisle muffs the punt. They then recover right around the 35-yard line, but the refs ruled that there was an inadvertent whistle, so Latin has to re-punt on fourth down. And this time, when Griffin Lee tries to get the kickoff, it is blocked by Concord Carlisle. The ball rolls out of bounds right around the 19-yard line. Very misfortunate there for the Boston Latin Wolfpack. Very first possession for Concord Carlisle, their stud running back, Sam Randall. Finds the edge, scores the touchdown for the Concord Carlisle Patriots as they take an early 7-0 lead. First quarter still for Concord Carlisle. They hand it off to their other stud running back, Jalen Fockerson. With some great cuts there, he finds the end zone for a 30-yard touchdown score. 14 to zip, Concord Carlisle. They led at the half, 21 to zip. Opening play of the second half, Sam Randall. Takes it the distance for 62 big ones. 62 yard touchdown run for Randall. 28 to zip, Concord Carlisle. Later on in the third quarter, this thunder and lightning running back combination was just too tough. That's Jalen Fockerson. He brings the lightning for the Patriots. Reverses field there for a 51 yard touchdown run. Concord Carlisle would hang on to win 35 to 16 over Boston Latin. Let's get to the rest of the scores. From the weekend on Friday, it was East Boston just edging out West Roxbury 24-22. Joel Pastrana, two rushing touchdowns for the Eastie Jets. Meanwhile, O'Brien, Blank and Charlestown 38 to zip. Running back slash wide receiver Emmanuel Exelholm with two rushing TDs for the O'Brien Tigers. Also on Friday, Boston English Blank and New Mission 10 to zip. Shaq Woodward with a touchdown receiver reception the only touchdown on Friday for either squad meanwhile Jeremiah Burke takes down South Boston 34 to 6 Pat Colbreth with three rushing touchdowns for Jeremiah Burke also on Friday it's Tech Boston who takes down Madison Park 16 to 6 Tech Boston is still hanging around in that Boston South Con Boston North Conference excuse me uh, with just one loss there. Friday, October 7th, also in boys soccer. It's Brighton, Blank and Cash, one to nil in Boston Latin. Taking down Cambridge in boys soccer, three to one. Meanwhile, East Boston, Blank and Revere, four to zip. And then a girls soccer, Cambridge, Blank's Boston Latin, three to nil on Friday. Also got girls volleyball for you. West Roxbury takes down Snowden, three to one. On Friday afternoon, meanwhile, Burke takes down Boston English by one set, three to two in girls volleyball. Latin Academy blanks Charlestown, three to zip on Friday. And Car Carlisle blanks Boston Latin, three to nothing. With just two weeks left before the playoffs start, it looks like the Brighton Bengals and O'Brien Tigers are in the driver's seat for the top spot in their respective conferences. But a lot can happen in those two weeks. That's going to do it for sports this week, folks. Be sure to come right back here next week for more on Boston Neighborhood Sports.